Hey everyone, uh, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm going to explain interface and how it works. So interface is uh, a long process in the cell cycle. Interface takes up about 90% of the cell cycle. You can think of it as the period of time when the cell is growing, the cell is uh, preparing to divide, Okay, all of that stuff is going on during interphase. So there are three subphases to interphase. This is a cell I drew here. You can see this is what would be an animal cell. It has a centriole pair here. It has, it looks like homologous chromosomes. It's got the mom and dad chromosome one and it's got a mom and dad chromosome two. These are homologous chromosomes, remember? There are no sister chromatids in the cell at this time. Okay, so during G1, what's going on during the first subphase of interphase? There's G1, remember, and then there's S, and then there's G2. So we're going to talk about all of these subphases of interphase. During G1, the cell generally grows, okay? Uh, that's what I need you to know about that. The cell undergrows, undergoes growth, right? Growth. Cellular growth, okay? Cells growing. It's producing all the proteins it needs. The organelles are being produced as well. The mitochondria is dividing. It's doing all its cellular duties. And at some point, the cell gets the okay to prepare to divide, okay? At this point, you enter S phase of interphase. This is called synthesis phase. And what you're synthesizing is DNA. At this point, a cell will take its 46 chromosomes. Remember, each human cell has 46 chromosomes inside. At this point, you will copy each and every chromosome, make a carbon copy of each and every chromosome. It's a process called DNA replication. Okay, so you're going to end up with 92 total chromosomes. I'm not drawing all the 92 chromosomes. I'm just drawing four chromosomes. And then during S, I'll, sh I'll draw another dad's chromosome 1, another dad's chromosome 2, you know, because th those got replicated. And then I'll draw another mom's chromosome 1 and another mom's chromosome 2. So now I went from four chromosomes total to eight chromosomes total in my drawing, right? But just be aware that in a real cell, a uh, human cell, you would have gone from 46 total chromosomes to 92. So again, what is S phase of interphase? S phase is called synthesis. Well, oh, my cap, here we go. Synthesis. Synthesis step. Okay, and what are you synthesizing? Again, you are synthesizing DNA. You copied all the DNA. Okay, in anticipation for cell division, which is coming up soon. All right, but you're not done with interphase yet. There's still one more part to interphase. It's called G2 or growth phase two. And the main thing that happens here is, <clears throat> you remember this, each animal cell has a centriole pair? That gets replicated. So you actually end up with two centriole pairs. You actually end up with two centriole pairs. And remember the centrioles are made of microtubules. And actually what's really interesting, microtubules can start being synthesized. Microtubules start growing out from, from these centrioles. But I'll get to that in a little bit. I'll explain it more when we get to some of the later steps of mitosis coming up. Um, but what you should realize about G2, what you need to know about G2 is that the centrioles, uh, oh, these caps are particularly tight today. The centrioles are replicated. Okay, the centrioles get replicated. And also, you should also be aware that the DNA, which was loose, remember the DNA is spaghettified or chromatin. The chromosomes cons uh, are comprised of chromatin, and that chromatin is DNA wrapped around those histone proteins. And that DNA was really loose, right? Like a bowl of spaghetti, okay? At this point, 
that DNA can start to condense. It's not quite a mitotic chromosome yet. It hasn't fully condensed yet, but it's starting to condense. Hey, that's my cat Tig. He's come to say hi. So anyway, I hope uh, this makes sense. Uh, during interphase, that's 90% of the cell cycle. Um, the cell is growing during G1. It has synthesized its DNA. You've copied all of the chromosomes in S. And then in G2, you have replicated the centrioles. And they are moving to opposite poles of the cell. The DNA is also starting to condense. By the way, one more point before the end of this video. When you've copied each and every chromosome at this point, notice that you now have two of mom's chromosome one, two of dad's chromosome one. You now have sister chromatids. Only after S phase do you have sister chromatids. You don't have that before, okay? Just be aware of that. Um, so that's interphase in a nutshell. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below, and thanks for watching.